this video, I'm going to show you the method I use to engrave and carve my nameplates for my headstones and tombstones. All I do is take just a Word document, print out the font and size that I want, and I glue it onto the foam board using this washable school glue. The reason I use this is after I carve out the letters using this template, I can just take a water hose and spray the board down and all the paper remnants just wash away, leaving just the headstone. I just use just a regular Dremel when I'm carving out the letters. This is a 111 bit. I do have a 108 and a 119. I use that for the finer detail on these smaller letters. But I do most of my carving using a 194 bit. All right, now that the glue has had time to dry and set up, let's use the Dremel and carve out these nameplates. One thing you want to keep doing is making sure that the tip of your bit remains clean. Sometimes as this heats up, the foam or plastic will actually build up on the tip of the bit. And to keep it as precise as possible, you need to keep that cleaned off. I usually check it in between each letter.
so after you have all the letters carved out, all you have to do since you use the washable glue is just use a water hose. There you have it. And that is how I carve inscriptions for tombstones and my mausoleum. Thank you for watching the videos and thank you for subscribing.